Well, the feedback trial is really heating up as a group of professional investment advisors known in the court as the Three Amigos takes a stand against Beck. Beck's facing 39 felony counts in his role in a massive securities fraud case. And two of the three advisors so far say that Beck and his business partners lied to them repeatedly to get them to invest. Beck's indictment followed a local 12 News investigation by Rich Jaffe, who joins us now from the newsroom with the very latest. Rich? Brad, the two of three amigos who have been on the stand thus far admit they should have known better before they invested $300,000 in Beck's company, Christopher Technologies. But they did, and they lost it all. Beck's lead attorney is trying to make them look responsible for the bad investment, but today it came down to a slugfest, and it looked like amigo number two won that bout. Seen here on the stand yesterday has told the court over and over again he and his partners invested in Christopher Technologies because Pete Beck, the chief financial officer of the company, and John Fussner, the CEO, told them the company had no debt, great prospects, and Beck said he wasn't getting paid by CTEC. Beck at the time was also a CPA and the mayor of Mason. The company was underwater. The deals never materialized, and Beck was getting paid in several ways. For two days, lead defense attorney Ralph Conan's been pushing Boland, saying he's really responsible because he ignored printed investment warnings on the company documents. Boland, though, steadfastly says he did that because the two company officials, Beck and Fussner, lied to Boland and his partners repeatedly, saying the company was fine. By the time today's testimony wrapped up, Ralph Conan was steaming. Boland will be back on the stand tomorrow for some final questions from the lawyer, attorney Gen uh, from the lawyer from the attorney general's office. Excuse me. And then the third of the three amigos, Corey Jordan, will take the stand. Now, if those three guys are the three amigos, Pete Beck doesn't have any amigos because all of his business partners have agreed to testify against him. In the newsroom, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Brett. Rich, thanks very much. The trial originally expected to last about four weeks. It's already in week number six and now expected to last at least a couple of more weeks. And, of course, we'll be there.